Welcome back guys to the PvP build for the Scrubs with Fate patch. I'm on my Necromancer with a pure perma block PvP tank. I got this idea from a viewer called Reza Rezram and he got the idea from another one called Smokey the Madman. Big thanks to both guys for this unique idea and for sending me some clips. Greetings to you my friends. Let's start with the build showcase. Back bar with leeching plate. When you take damage, you summon a cloud of leeching poison under the uh, cylind. The cloud deals poison damage every 1 second for 5 seconds and heats you for 100% of the damage caused. On top combined with resilient Yokeda. When you block, you deal magic damage to all enemies within 10 meters of you and heal 100% of the damage done. If you have a ton of targets on you, let's say 10 plus, this thing is basically burst heal every 5 seconds. It heats insane amount. I used the set back then a couple years ago and it was insane. Then combined with Pale Order, restore 20% of the damage you deal as health. Pale Order works really good in combination with Leeching Plate and Resident Ukeda. So every time we heal with those sets, paid order procs and we kind of heal ourselves like crazy. As filler 120, fax HP and Malobeth as monster set for major vitality, 16% extra heal increase. Very nice. Armor types, I'm on 6 heavy and 1 medium. Full sturdy of course for extra block cost reduction. Then the big piece with prismatic glyphs for extra HP. Magicka and Stamina, and on the small pieces I'm on Max Stamina Glyphs. Then Full Infused on the Jury, Block Cost Reduction. Then two Eye Stuffs, really important here. Like this we block with uh, our Magicka instead of Stamina, but you need to put Tri-Focus on this passive here, otherwise you will still block with Stamina. We need the Stamina for skills like Immovable and Scythe. But I will talk about the rotation the gameplay after the spiritual case. Powered on the front bar for extra healing, 9%. And back bar defending just for extra resistance. I put both on both bars the escapist poisons for extra C immunity. But you can put basically another uh, glyph here or something else. I prefer the escapist poisons. Skills front bar scythe, which I use mainly as burst heal if I'm really under pressure. Then immovable, really important, the heavy armor skill gives us CC immunity for 6 seconds but reduce our movement speed which is not a big problem on a perma block tank. Each piece of heavy armor worn increases the amount of damage you block for another 5%. We are on 6 heavy so another 30% block mitigation. Really nice. Next up is X punch and modify. Embrace the power of death. Removing up to two negative effects, so it's a purge, and restoring 500 magic and stamina for each negative effect removed. My slotted even decreases the cost of our abilities by another 3%. This skill for this build is a must have. Without X Punch Modify, we will have zero magic and sustain. If every buff is up, spam basically X Punch and Modify. Like this, you gain in perma block magic and stamina back. A must have for this build. Necrotic potency for ulti regen and uh, slotted also reduce our damage taken by another 3%. And revealing flare for major protection as a 10% damage mitigation. As ultimate goliath for 30k extra HP and heats like crazy. We're almost immortal in goliath. Back bar backing armor. We can pull the range targets on ourselves for leeching and defend Yokida. Really important. Otherwise, those sets are. Useless if you don't have melee targets on you. Spirit Guardian for 10% damage mitigation, exceeding. Mortal Coil for sustained healing. Defensive Stance, just as flex spot here, you could also go with Vigor if you want. Flare, same stuff for major protection. And Spare Wall, just because you don't have any other ultimate. Better option would be Temporal Guard on the front bar for minor protection. And then put Goliath on the back bar instead of Spare Wall. As well as Khajiit, not the best choice here, but it's my PvE char. Better option is definitely Argonian, should be best it's not, for extra healing, followed by Nord and Imperial. But even as Khajiit, works fine to be honest. As Mundus the Nord for extra HP, like this we are at around 41k HP. Sugar Scouts, the Tricet food. Our goal is to get around 21k stamina at least, and around 20k Magicka. Potions, the normal Tricet potions. CPs, blue ones, focus manning, for extra 10% healing, and the resolve, 6% damage reduction against dots, iron knet, 6% damage reduction against direct damage abilities, and 
to his rebuff another 6% against single target abilities. Red CP's Bracing Anchor. While in combat, increase the amount of damage you can block by 4%, but reduce your movement speed. We cannot move anyway with a movable, so it doesn't matter the snare. Sustain by suffering for extra magicka, stamina region and HP. Pain Suffuge for another 20% mitigation and on guard for another 10% block mitigation. Let's talk about the rotation and the gameplay. First of all, perma block. Don't drop your block button. Keep up your buffs. Spirit Guardian, Beckling Armor and Mortrikoi. Try to bar swap every 5 to 10 seconds on your back bar to reapply your buffs and to proc Leechy Blade. Focus mainly on your main bar, in this case the front bar. It's important to keep up immovable, the heavy armor skill, best case on cooldown, so every 6 seconds. You do not want to get stunned if you have multiple targets around you. Use Scythe, basically a burst tier, and spam x and Modifier for sustain in between. We need to spam x and Modifier, otherwise you will be out of juice in a couple of seconds. With some corpses on the ground, use Necrotic Potency for Exulti region. In a really under pressure situation, use Goliath as ultimate and Scythe, and that's basically it. Nothing complicated, really simple playstyle. What's the goal of this build? Well, it's just for fun. If you have 10 15 targets on you, it's kinda funny to just perma block and to tank them around. If you have questions about the rotation, gameplay, or the build, type them down below. I will try to answer them as fast as possible. That's it with another PvP build. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, and I see you hopefully in the next video. Peace!